morning everybody welcome to our farm i'm going to give everybody a tour this morning of our barn and the changes we've made to it since we bought it back in june it is towards the end of january now so it's been a little over six months we've been here made a few changes along the way um i'll try to explain some of those while i walk through it let's have fun all right we're gonna start in the back of the barn here we bought the property we did not have any shelter on plate on the property here for the horses to get out of the weather uh hot sun in the summer and the frigid nights in the winter uh without just bringing them in every night and we just like to have the horses come in and out as they please uh, we will bring them in on bitter bitter cold nights stall them at night or in the really hot evenings or days during the summer um so we bought the place just had the fence line going across the back of the barn here with the feeding pen here. What we did is we opened this up, put some panels up across the back here, both sides, so they have a run in here to get out of the sun. Um, I am going to replace these panels with some permanent fencing this spring. Um, just time got away from me over the summer to finish that up, but uh, these temporary panels are doing a great job in the meantime. So what we did is we opened, keep this door open all, all the time. And what I did is I took down one of the panels here on the side here. Um, this was a stall. So I took the panels down, took the door off and moved it over to the other side here for our access and then put up a wall here. Uh, works pretty well. The, the aisle here is wide enough so I can back my Kubota sidekick up and this is what I put the manure in and we want to clean out the stalls. Um, got one stall right next to here with just some storage and then the third stall over is a goat pen that we don't know what to do with the yet but i'm sure we're going to find something to do with that so this is our walk-in i think it's working really well horses seem to like it um catch them in here laying down and hanging out quite often um easy place to feed the horses at night spreading the hay out spreading the grain um it's working, working well. So we're gonna walk through here. It's where we put our hay to grab the hay from. We feed them in the morning and evenings. Um, I throw about nine bales down a week. So we go through about nine bales a week. Um, just throw it down from our hay loft up there. Walk through here. So we got three more stalls over here. It's a beautiful setup. Really love the place. Um, so right now we only have two horses. So we have a stall for each Jack and Finnegan here. The project I worked on over this last weekend was I added these hay mangers. To kind of keep the hay in check in here. Um, what I did is I took some six foot, two by sixes, um, cut a 45 degree angle at each end. And then I uh, used some cabinet screws and screwed them into the wall. So they're really sturdy. Um, I think the horses are really gonna like it. Same thing over here in jack stall. Um, pretty good setup. Um, the one drawback that we do have is if we don't have any water source up here, which is okay. We just have to walk about, uh, I don't know, 30 yards. We do have an artesian well that we just get the water out of. Works pretty well. This is just our third stall over here. Right now, just kind of using that storage. Got over here is our feed room. 
keep our uh, clippings and feed in here. And also the cats kind of hang out here. They got a nice warming house and cat tree and etc. So. so that's our barn. Um, it's a different place in the summer. As you can imagine, I'll do another tour in the summer, show you how things are going then. Um, hope everybody has a happy day.